So we have almost covered all the aspects of classification. We started with the input image, we collected training data, trained the classifier, we did the accuracy assessment, we tuned the parameter, and you say, I'm done, I, my classification results look good, my accuracy is pretty good, I've tuned my parameters, I'm done. Before you get done, you need to do the last step, which is post-processing. Typically, when you do pixel-wise classification, you end up with a lot of salt pepper noise, where you know, just because of the noise in the data, all Earth observation data is noisy, and kind of the random uh, nature of the pixel-based classification, you have, say, a patch of forest. And, you know, you will expect that all the uh, forest pixels will be all green or they'll be in the same class. But you will see that there might be 500 pixels and five out of 500 might be non-forest just because of the noise. And when you use the data for your final output, it will appear bad because, again, you have these random noises. Your statistics are likely to be a little incorrect because of this. So you need to apply some post-processing. So let's learn about some post-processing techniques that we can apply on our classification. This is a script in your supplement, the post-processing classification results. Here we cover a few techniques. Some of this we have covered in the different modules already. But let me zoom into a place and then I will go through the script. Here I've done my classification. I exported the result as an asset. You can see I already have an asset which I'm importing in the script. So again, when you're post-processing, do not do the whole flow and do the post-processing. Ideally, you would do your thing, do your tuning, export the result as an asset. Once the asset is finished exporting, import it. And then let's say this is my result. And if you just compare it against the, the base layer, this is the image data classifier. It looks pretty good, right? But again, you see that there are patches where, you know, it could be better. There is still noise and it's not as smooth as you'd like. So just look at it here. All of this is bare land, but because of the kind of noisy data, you have some bare, some vegetation and so on. So how do we kind of post-process this? One of the techniques you can do is you use unsupervised techniques for post-processing. So you take your original composite image and say, identify clusters of pixels which are similar. So we take our original RGB, original Sentinel to composite and say, group them into clusters of similar pixels. And the clusters and algorithms uh, will result in a much smoother image where it says, oh, this whole thing looks very similar. So I'll give them as a single cluster. So you do the clustering of your image. Uh, here we are using this algorithm called SNCC, which is again uh, available in Earth Engine. You can use any of the clustering algorithm that you prefer. We do the clusters, and once we have the cluster, we say, within the clusters, replace all the pixels with the majority value. So if there's a cluster of bare land, and there are three pixels which are non valid just replace them. So if you do this, yeah, you will see something like this. So you can see this one is the before, this is before, this is after. Just looks much smoother. And all of this was done as using the original uh, image clusters. So you can see, look at this area here. You can see that, you know, there was a non-vegetation uh, pixel which got replaced. So this is one technique you can apply. Another technique that you can do is you see lot, there are a lot of these isolated pixels. This is one single pixel. It might be a, uh, maybe there's a farm and there's a small building at the beginning. Do you want to consider that as a built up? Or maybe just you say, I will consider the whole thing as a agriculture land. So again, keep the context in mind when you're doing the classification. What is the purpose of your classification? If you want to remove the isolated pixels, you can use this function called connected components. So we say, find all the pixels which are connected to less than 25 pixels. You can adjust the threshold based on your application and say, remove all the pixels which are single or less than 25 pixels and replace them with the surrounding value. And if you do this, you get something that looks like this. You can see all those holes are being replaced. 